this is a domestic solar thermal hot water storage tank so it's um, making hot water with solar panels on the roof running through a coil in this tank and then going back up to the panels um, every time that this tank reaches a temperature uh, so it's warmer as warm as the panels on the roof basically the panels just shut down in the water that's in the panels drain back into this tank this way the panels don't overheat in the summertime this particular installation is in a school so in the summertime if they're not using all the hot water that they need then uh, if this system wants to overproduce what it'll do is it'll shut down the water will drain back into this tank and it'll just sit there that's better than glycol sitting in panels and potentially baking the panels or needing a heat dump zone heat dump zone is not required because every time the panels um, shut down the pump shuts down the drain it drains back to this tank which is really nice uh, this hot water this storage tank here this solar tank is making hot water in the hot water outlet of this tank feeds the cold water inlet of their existing hot water heater this particular hot water heater has a coil in it and it's fed by the boiler so here's a commercial boiler it was heating this indirect hot water heater we came in and installed the solar thermal system which is preheating the water going in so if the water's coming in at 40 degrees and we heat it up to 160 in the summertime that means we got 160 degree water coming into this tank that means that tank is not going to cycle on that boiler is not going to cycle on so they're going to get all their hot water in the summertime right there um, we don't have to worry about it overheating because it has a, um, it has a mixing valve the mixing valve will prevent the water from being too hot at the faucets it's a great system it's made in america the panels made in america drain back tanks are made in america the solar storage this uh storage tank here is made in america this is the AET great system.